Okay, let's go crude oil real quick, Gerald. All right, crude oil, let's take a look at it. We had a major short when I popped in the mic this morning. Before we broke here, I said if we broke 37.79 when I first got in this morning, I said this is a, a nice short to look for, stock to trade. Why did I say that? We have these supply demand lines, okay? Old supply becomes new demand, old demand becomes new supply, okay? Supply demand, I keep telling traders over and over, and market profile, they are both timeless. They've been working since the beginning of time because it's all order flow. Market profile is order flow. Supply and demand lines are order flow. So what you want to see, the reason I said that this is a possible big short coming up is that if you are in a downtrend, we use moving averages for trend. We don't use them for support and resistance. You can get away with support and resistance on daily and weekly charts. I do look at that on daily and weekly charts. When I want to see if I got major resistance or major support, you know, I like to look at those moving averages on daily and weekly, but I do not use them for support and resistance on intraday trading. Intraday trading, I like to use them for trend direction. So I got three moving averages, my longer term, intermediate, and shorter term. If they're all below each other, large, intermediate, below large, small below intermediate, you're in a hard down, downtrend. I mean, you're just in a hard downtrend. If you take any longs, you deserve to lose ticks. You deserve to lose to your trading opponent. No doubt about it. You're counter trend trading the market. Give your ticks and hand it to your neighbor because you're trading against the trend. So if the trend's down, what we want to do is since we have these uh, dynamic support and resistance levels, right, we got supply and demand lines. The reason I said this is looking for stock and for a short is because I want to see the market get rejected. I want to see it come up. Oops. I want to see it come up. I mean, as we move down, sorry, we're moving down this morning, all morning. I want to see it move down. Let me get a larger arrow here so you can see it. So I want to see the market cross down here and start moving below these demand lines. Old demand becomes new supply. So if I break through here, it becomes new supply. If I break through here, it becomes new supply. If I break through here, it becomes new supply. Old demand becomes new supply. Never forget that. But what I want to see is I want to see speed bars come through these levels to show me that there's major selling, which they all did, less than two candle close, right, showing their speed in the market. But more importantly, what I want to see, I want to see counter trend traders come to the market. And I keep telling this to my members that are inside and outside this room. When I was at the Las Vegas trade show a couple of years ago as a guest speaker, almost all the traders I talked to were counter trend traders. They use stochastics, divergence, they use the MAC, and they're trying to buy the low, sell the high, or sell the high, buy the low. To be competent trading and to be with the algorithms, and to be with the professional traders, you need to look to sell low, buy lower. You need to buy high, sell higher. That's how I educate traders. Buy high, sell higher. Short low, short lower. Sell new lows, buy new highs. And traders do not get that. Almost 90% to 95% of all those 6,000 plus traders and a lot of people that I talk to, the majority try to buy the low, sell the high. It's almost impossible. Because the market doesn't leave its footprint on buying the low, selling the high. It's impossible trying to call tops and bottoms. Not unless you're in a flat market and then you can trade market profile on the outer edges. That's the only way that I know that's worked for 35 years where you can buy and sell the high and low. Is in a flat market, sell the outer edge of market profile. But if you're in a trend market like this and you're moving down, you want to see counter trend traders here pop in the market. Please bounce off my demand line. Please, you're begging them to. Let's catch these wrongly positioned traders, these novice traders. All right, let's catch these novice traders right here at this rejected level here too. Those are novice traders going against trend. And that's pretty much the public. And this was 6,000 traders around the entire world that go to Las Vegas for these trade shows. And I talked to a lot of them. I had dinner with a lot of them. I had some martinis with a lot of them. And they all counter trend trade the market. Predominantly 90% all counter trend trade. And that's why you need to be educated about this. If you're in a downtrend, we're not trying to buy demand lines. We want the market to come down and bounce off a demand line. 
bounce off a demand line. Why? Because once it bounces off that demand line, that's called a rejected area. Now you just caught wrongly positioned traders. Now you caught the, the average Joe that just opened a trading account or just opened a, they think day trading is easy and let's go in here and let's day trade the market and make lots of money. Well, the market doesn't have feelings. It doesn't care if it gives Order you all the ticks it. or it gives Goldman Sachs all the ticks from their Delta algorithm. It just do, doesn't matter. It doesn't have any, it's not biased towards you or me or anybody else. What it will do is it will take all your ticks if you try to go against what it's telling you. And it told us this morning in crude oil that we're going down. So if we're going down, I want to see where the wrongly positioned traders are trying to trade. Order submitted. Right there. So how can I time the entry then? Okay, how can I time the entry on these wrongly positioned traders? What I can do is I can go down to a smaller time frame. I can go down to a smaller time frame and find rejected areas. Now this is my three sim Rinko that we have, a Rinko bar. And this is how you can time it, Leo. Here's my three sim. I'm going to blow this up beside it. So what we can do, this is my, my demand line this morning that was projected yesterday. This was projected 24 hours ahead of time. Whoa, don't want to make it 56. It's a little bit too big. So here's my projected demand line this morning, right? So what I want to do is how, how I can time the trade is you can actually go in and I was telling traders this this morning in the room, if you don't want to use candles, you can go to data and go to open high, low close or open versus close, either one. And look for the two candle close below to look for a breakdown. So it told me that rejected level here, and this is how I stock in the trade this morning. Order that failed. rejected level there, it told me that's a good pivot level to trade off of because that's a demand line from yesterday. I had speed bars that start coming through, but look what happened on my small time frame. I wanted two close below to get me going. Now this is a three sim. If you want a larger time frame, which a lot of traders use, so you don't get shaken out of trades, you use a five sim. It's the same technique though. There's your rejected level, Leo. There's your rejected level off the nine sim, Rinko. And off the five sim, see where, where it rejects right there, Leo? So you're looking at the larger time frames to find where supply and demand is and market profile. But you can check down to a smaller time frame for your entry. So your entry is going to be a two candle close right there. And that was the major short on crude oil this morning that I was talking about. All right? And look how it caught it beautifully right broke my demand line because it got rejected now the same thing happened on the s p so if i go to the s p this morning and i'll show you the s p real quick we had another short and i'm going to show you how you look at rejected trades 31 so the s p had the same thing here was my demand line now watch Look how it bounces, bounce, bounce. These are rejected levels. This is, these are the novice traders. These are the counter trend traders right there. So this is called what's called a rejected demand level against trends, rejected. So what I want to do as a trader then, and I was on the mic right here, and a lot of traders caught a good job who caught that. I said, look for the brook close below. I mean, the breakdown on the S&P on the triple bottom. I said, we have a triple bottom in the S&P right now against trend at a major demand line. The demand line was shown from last night on the S&P. Because if I look at the S&P, my demand lines, I had a major level over here, right? Major, major level. Right here at a major, major level, right here. So I said if we break this, we go lower, which we did. But how we time the trade then, since we're right on the demand line? How we can time the trade is, if I see this a triple bottom, on a smaller time frame, triple bottom. One, two, three. One candle, close, close right above my demand line. 
right there's your entry two candle close and look at this s p trade beautiful trade to the downside okay so that's how we can do it we can use our larger time frames to find the supply demand lines but i can check down it doesn't matter what time frame you use you can use a five this is a five i can check down to a four let's take a look at a four what it looked like on an entry technique the smaller time frame you go for your entry technique, the smaller the stop. It's still the same. One, two, three level rejection. There's your entry. You see that, Leo, how that works? So the larger time frame, the nine sim rank on my five sim, projected my supply and demand lines. But what I can do is I can use the open versus close. If you don't want to look at candles, I can look at the open versus close. And I wait for a two candle close below, meaning a two close close below. And that's my entry. So you know ex the exact bar to trigger you in. If I want to go smaller, 3SIM gives me around 11 tick. Average stop, sometimes 10 ticks. 3SIM, let's look at the break in the demand line. Watch. You want to get rejected, rejected. There's your break. There's your move. Okay? So you can use, like I said, you can use the supply demand lines to find the big areas of break. But once you get, once you get at the supply, the one thing I'm going to educate traders that you cannot do, you can't trade the middle. Don't fiddle in the middle. You should be trading, since these lines are so accurate, at these levels. And look for shorter time frames bouncing from those levels. I want to get rejected off those levels. That's where you should be trading. You shouldn't be trading down here. You should be trading this garbage. That's for novice traders. Don't trade garbage. Garbage equals getting stopped out. The smart money shorted here, here, here. That's that. That's the smart money. This this area right here is for amateurs. Market's already moved down. Let the amateurs get stopped out. Let them counter trend trade the market. You see a counter trend trader, shake their hand, give them a hug, say thank you, thank you for counter trend trade the market. You create order flow for me. That's how you trade the system.